One really cool feature that tenancy websites come with is the ability to control not just your content and the permission settings for your members and users, but also the theme templates. This is a more advanced video training. Most of our clients might not ever get into the theme of the website and start changing the HTML and CSS. However, if you are interested in doing a little bit more customization with the look and feel of your site, every tenancy site comes with the theme editor and allows you to do this. The way you get to it is up on your admin bar. Go to Quick Links, click on your theme editor, And there we are looking at the theme for our home page. This is the actual HTML and design code for the home page we were just looking at. You, if you're familiar with any of this, you'll see these are loading from the base of the software in different tags. And I'll show you how to access that. And you'll come through the block, the body, HTML. You can change things. This is where you would add the mobile customization if you wanted to. Uh, and it comes through, here's, you can see when we talk about spaces, here's module theme space one, module theme space two, that's in that home page. It does a little bit of JavaScript for some of these different queries and it's a lot of fun to come in and really customize. It also saves previous versions, so if you come in and are changing some things around and you update it and it doesn't look right and you don't want to leave your site looking broken but have to rush off to a meeting, you can just go back to the version before you updated it and it'll restore it completely to what it was like before you messed around with it. You can have a lot of fun in here and I enjoy coming through and adding custom options, changing some of the different things that are in here. I clicked on the sidebar. So this is the sidebar in your internal pages. You can come up here to the header where your logo is and your metadata. And you can see right here, it's loading your theme tags, your nav tags. These are all things from your global site settings and the different module themes that you've set in there. However, you can add additional things to your header that you, you want to add and customize. Inside of the footer, you can come in here and you can change where that link goes to. If you're a designer and you're in here, then you would definitely be changing this to yours, my awesome web design company. And we'll just change that. Well, the links is not going to matter, but we can. And you come in here, we can update it. Go back to your site. Come down to the footer where we change it, and there you go, my awesome web design company. That's just one of the little things. Uh, if you're brave enough to come back here, I'm sure you know what you're doing. So when you're in your theme editor, this is where you might want to go. Customize more templates. And here you have every single modules type templates inside the theme editors that you can go in and edit. Uh, for your locations, the base, the views, payments, you have the ability to change what stories and guides. And you can customize your 404. We all like to do that. Get away from the generic one and have something a little more fun. It'd be creative. And so this is something that is a lot of fun. Inside of the base here, you'll see we have the Facebook, the fame, and you'll just pick one of these. It'll say override, you go yes, you've moved it over so you come back here. So here's your base, and here's the folder you just moved over. So that this one's pretty straightforward in here, just an iframe, and you can go and do that with any of the other templates. So if you're willing to get a little bit more advanced and have a little bit more control over your website, Tenancy gives you that full control over your theme right directly inside of the admin bar through the theme editor and it's just a little HTML and CSS.